is in route. It started out as a 175cc Yamaha dirt bike. My wife's missing a pair of pantyhose now because that's what I use to for filters. You design the pipe around your whole motor. It sets the RPM you want to make the cut at. This machine here turns around 11,000 RPMs in the wood. The pipe's designed to run right at 11,000. I run this roller nose. It causes the least amount of friction, makes the chain turn real easy. The horsepower in this machine right now I'd say it all revol revolves around the fuel system. This is my fuel tank, sitting nice and low, and it runs up to a Makuni fuel pump. One inlet line, but I have two lines coming out. Rather than one big carburetor, we've gone with two small ones. Kind of gives me the best of both worlds. I get the most of top end. In fact, I'm running right now the same gasoline that the Winston Cup guys use. Terry Gingra, excellent competitor, good man. He's uh, actually the world record holder in this event and established himself as the man to beat here today. We'll see him in the final heat. We're going to be sawing, the competitors are going to be sawing. I won't be doing any sawing. The competitors will be sawing three dicks of 12-inch round aspen. First heat, Marty Merrill, Donald Lambert. Three, two, one, go. Good start in the throwaway cards. No mistakes so far. Don Lambert wins the heat. <laughs> Donald, tell me about your machine. Hi, it's a Kawasaki 250, and uh, I'm running a 404 chain and uh, regular gas, and uh, it's working quite well. I'd say working quite well. 4.75 is going to be tough to beat here today, that's for sure. I know the wood is firm. Competitors could be up to it. Next up, we have a couple of New Brunswick fellows, Roger McPhee and Paul Woodland, second heat of three in the hot saw. Originally, we had 10 competitors in the hot saw. We're featuring the top three heats. Better start with their hands in the wood. One, go. Good start. Paul Woodland wins the heat. a little bit of a, a problem in one of your cuts. Yeah, when I went into the upcut there, I think it was a little too lean, maybe. We didn't have enough fuel when I went into the cut. I could have said that a little bit. It's just a different te temperature today, and it's cloudy. Good heat for Paul Woodland, but still two tenths of a second behind Donald Lambert at 475. Paul Woodland at 495, but of course that little bit of a stammer hurt him. There's that world record I was telling you about, 3.87 seconds set by Jerry Gingra in 1999 in three cuts of Aspen. Here we have the final heat of the hot saw competition between Jerry Gingra and Gaston Duperry. Both guys get started well. Gaston throws the chain. Jerry wins the heat. I heard you say pretty ugly. What's the pretty ugly? Well, I'm not exactly sure what the time was, but it was a it was a pretty rough run. I got into the first cut a little bit crooked. I hit the stock good. First cut, I got in a little crooked, tried to corrected on my second cut well you got to be perfect to win this event and donald lambert was the closest one to perfection today at 4.75 seconds